we go to New York, and this guy, he used to be fat, he's not fat anymore, his name is Joe, he came out and sang, and guess what, we didn't even need to play, because after that performance, we had already won. Brutal for Fat Joe. Now, I agree, he was cursed, but I don't like the Dodgers being mean about it. Jake, Fat Joe, cursed? Jim, Zach, everyone tuning in. If you're FJ. I'm from New York. You got to switch things up. Well, we've seen Snoop Dogg do it. I was going to reference, you know, <laughs> P. Diddy rebranded, but he's so far out. But Snoop Dogg went Snoop, Snoop Lion and all that. If you're Fat Joe, you're not as fat anymore. And <laughs> tough couple days. Tough, <laughs> man. We were at the World Series, and I think there is video of me when he came on yeah. saying, no, right away. Fucking Fat Joe. And it, it did change the course of the game. History. It's a drastic divide before they showed Fat Joe after they showed Fat Joe. But to hear Joe Kelly say that he was in the dugout having the same, like, yeah. We, we were saying every single game, just let them throw the ball to the infield, they can't make a play. I mean, we're the Dodgers. We know every little detail. Because now I feel bad for him. He's a nice guy. He's a good father. Real good beard. He seems like a nice cat. And it it's just landed in a really bad spot. But I think it's a little rebrand. Maybe it's nice if Fat Joe's taking a lot of the blame off of the Yankees. Right. Because I heard the judge miscatch be compared to Buckner at first. And people were like, yeah, and that wasn't even an elimination game. And I'm like, oh my God. Right. This is bad. Because three people made errors. There's not like a name, like right. the Buckner play. There's right. not like a name for It's just right. top of the Everyone fifth. Everyone kind of has their favorite one. Yeah. But now we could just call the Fat Joe inning. And he's taken a lot of, lot of the weight off the Yankees. Hey, let's take it on a second. We're on a, the pulse of Yankees Nation. I'm ready. Fat Joe's going to show up. Is it a welcome with open arms and like, we'll get through this? Or is it, you're out? Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. People take breaks. Yeah. Talk in Swedish. Go. Russian, but we'll take it. Oh, it is a little Russian. It was a little Russian. I mean, Sweden's right there. Right there. You, get, you go in the bay, hop in a boat. Boom. Did you put a boat on my hand? Oh, the waters are shaky today, Zach. Now we got to break it down, girl. Break it down. And your guy, Nick Jackson, did, does it again. Nick Jack Sun. Three, two, one, one five. five. Yeah. Nick Jackson. Nick Jackson. <laughs> AI player yeah. generator. Yep. <laughs> like, come on. He had an interception that's very cool because first, it could have been a normal interception where he just sure. corrals it in with one hand and grabs it, but that's not fun. So he knew, let's pizzazz this up a little bit. I'm Nick Jack's son. He bats it down. I have horrible news. Yeah. He bats it off his teammate, Brian Allen. That's Three, two, one, four. Five. I don't... He kicks it, and then you're thinking, oh, botched. I love getting the footwork involved. Like, never say die. That's continuing the try. His teammate gets kicked, hits his teammate in the face, comes right back to him. He grabs it for the interception. He should get all the credit. Thanks to the teammate, but that's a great interception. Good quote at the end. I couldn't even tell you what happened. I didn't even know I had the ball for a while. Just lucky, man. <laughs> That's good. He knew he had the ball. That's good. I, you'd normally expect the player to be like, yeah, I've been dreamt of that one. I'm always, I'm always fighting. And he's like, no, that was Nick Jackson. Man. Straight luck. Speaking of Nick Jackson and action. Today's episode is brought to you by Mountain Dew. Bold flavors, a refreshing citrus kick. They'll get you off your ass and have you feeling like you're on an actual mountain where the weather is always perfect. Oh. Your friends are ready to hang oh. and a day of epic proportions awaits. <laughs> we drink Mountain Dew in our warehouse. Blitzball Battle 5 premiering soon. Well, yesterday, last wow. night, Jake and I played. Go watch us. Baggage. The mountain is calling. You should answer. Grab your friends. Grab an ice cold Mountain Dew wherever refreshing beverages are sold and do the do. Jim, we've got a trending celly. It started at your favorite incarnate word, which nothing should be named that. Never mind a college. Uh, but your guy, Jalen Walthall. Three, two, <laughs> Hold on, let me see how it's spelled. Yeah. Okay, go. One, two, three, four. Five. Jalen, pretty sick name. Walthall. Yeah, the Walthall is terrible. Just brings you back to earth. Walthall. He scores the tutty and he hits him with kind of the reverse bowling pin. Headstand rollout. Headstand. Would be the gymnastics term if we were doing like a floor routine. Right. It's very well done. And it was, yeah, like everyone saw it and was like, cool, cool, cool. Copycat league, it gets to the NFL. I think your guy, Amon Ross St. Brown. Yeah. Three, two, one. And eight. 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 Yeah. <laughs> he hit it the best because he like 
Re-stiffened. really stuck it. He was up straight. The other guy, Drake London. Yeah. You're out. You can't do it. You can't. I can't do it. He can't do it. It's a sick name. Drake London. That's a that's a TV name. Anyway, Drake London's wasn't good. Amon Ross St. Brown nailed it. Almost better than the original Jalen Walthall. But he gets all the credit. Like he gets the royalties. Yeah. This was music. If it worked like that. Jim, that's not sports. Uh, I saw that twinkle in your eye again. Well, the not sports is science related, which is a touchy subject right. here on Weekly Dumb. But I think I like this guy. And I'm interested in the science. He wrote an article and his name is, actually, I don't think I wrote it down. He should, rem, uh, it feels rude to remain him nameless, but he's so happy. He's Maybe so we'd happy. Say his name at the end. Article is called, I'm Obsessed with Whale Poop. It can be neon green, bright red, or even sparkle. Just in the ocean. First encountered whale poop 30 years ago. There were gallons of poop in the water. Gallons, Jake. It's big animal poop. It says it no. looked like red floating bricks. The smell was overwhelming. <laughs> Some whale poop smells like brine and seawater. I think that's probably the seawater. But with right whales, there's a strong smell of sulfur. I didn't know it then, but that fecal plume would later spark my global search for whale feces from Iceland to Mexico, Alaska, and Hawaii. Yeah. Well, what interested me in the article? He's the whale poop guy. One, the picture of him holding the jar of whale poop, being excited about it. As happy as you can be. He, he said... Well, the ocean's as old as day and there's stuff down there that we can't even like get to because it's so deep. Did he say the ocean's as old as day or did you add that? Uh, it's nice. I think maybe that was Zach told it's me a good that. Good phrase. Yeah. I, did that what I said? It's as old as day? <laughs> that is a good phrase. <laughs> it just rolled up. Well, I, I've never said that before. The ocean's that's, as old as day. <laughs> that's a good one. Good. I think that's a saying that people say. Uh, the whales go down to that dark old ocean <laughs> and they feed down there. And he's like, then they bring those gases up. So he developed a pump to like collect all the poop pump science terms of that air saying that they can give us some research into like the depths of the ocean. That felt like you were reading a teleprompter for a second <laughs> and it was like inside science, science terms, terms. Yeah. and you just said that. It's kind of what it was. <laughs> kind of what it was. Look at this lady wearing glasses. Outfit. That was a weekly dumb. What do you think his name is? <laughs> give me his initials and I'll give you his name. I'm obsessed with whale poop. No way. JR. No way. I know. For a second, I thought it was RJ. JR. Okay. Uh, time out. <laughs> did you say time out? Time's in. What are you laughing at? His name? A little bit. A little bit I am. What do you think the odds are that I guess it? <laughs> Zero, man. <laughs> guess a guy's first and last name. The first name is... Jason Rogerfield. So his first name's Joe, obviously. And then I did a double take. His name's Joe Roman. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I What's did. his birth If name? you replay it, that's exactly what I did. That's his whale poop. Joe Roman. <laughs> that's like his alter ego, the whale poop collector, Joe Roman. He's just roaming around the world collecting <laughs> whale poop. What's his birth name? Romansky? Joseph Romansky? Okay. So I got it. 